Hello, this is part three of segment four, Common Goals, Customization, and Showcase of High Impact Career Readiness Initiatives. In this part, the focus will be on utilization of co-curricular programming to align with career readiness skills. There are, um, there are two models. One is a um, theoretical model developed by Peck and Preston and published earlier in 2018 called the C3 model. Um, they, they specifically differentiate between co-curricular and extracurricular ex experiences in the following way. They define co-curricular experiences as those based on learning that is planned and which is expressed in learning outcomes. So for it to qualify as a co-curricular career connection, um, it must be planned and expressed in learning outcomes. Conversely, extracurricular experiences are considered in the C3 model to be those experiences that may teach students something, but their primary role is to foster a sense of engagement and connection, therefore not, not expressing uh, or not being expressed in learning outcomes. The co-curricular uh, model, C3 model, or co-curricular career connections, um, is an experiential learning opportunity-based model uh, looking for opportunities for students to gain skills and abilities uh, that are through outcomes established by the institution's general education core and program-specific learning outcomes. There is a very clear connection between the skills identified by NACE, those eight career readiness skills, and those pursued in leadership programs. Research conducted by C. Miller and cataloged over 60 competencies of student leadership programs developed from an analysis of a vast array of sources from both curricular and co-curricular programs. In some form, all of the competencies over, of those co-curricular or curricular programs overlap with the NACE competencies. Uh, some would say, essentially, employability skills or career readiness are leadership skills, that they are one and the same. Uh, the quantity and variety of skills identified uh, adds cre credibility to the claim that leadership programs may not be sufficiently strategic in their outcomes, but that is um, a criticism that can be addressed in an institution's design. A particular is college that has adopted a co-curricular program um, is Georgia College uh, using its career planning milestone program. This is a co-curricular voluntary program requiring no curriculum changes. It's a four-year sequence of career planning activities or so-called milestones. Uh, students are tracked through this Career Center's C3M con contact management system. As previously noted, participation is expected but is not required. Uh, however, in order to bolster student participation and buy-in, some faculty do require completion of career planning milestone activities um, as part of uh, a course requirement. Here you see the landscape of first, second, third, and fourth year milestone activities, uh, starting with a career assessment to identify students' interests, skills, knowledge, and goals. Um, second year is beginning to write a resume, meeting uh, with the career advising office, creating a LinkedIn account, moving in the third year to developing a, 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 a individual career plan, uh, updating the resume, um, participating in a mock interview, and then fourth year is uh, pulling it all together and getting ready to leave the institution and enter the workforce hopefully gainfully employed in a position that requires a college degree and is a good match for the student's uh, interests, skills, and values. The early results on the Georgia College Career Planning Milestone Program um, were uh, impressive. Um, they compared career student participation with specified career activities prior to and subsequent to the implementation of this model and found that there was a 73% increase in undergraduate interaction with the Career Center, 
a 52% increase in the number of sophomores who completed a resume and met with the career advisor, a 121% increase in the number of juniors who completed mock interviews, and a 295% uh, increase in the number of seniors who completed a mock interview. The last model we will look at is a four-year career development structure um, adopted uh, one we just looked at, which is the Georgia College Career Planning Milestone. That was covered in the co-curricular um, segment of uh, this um, section. The last one we'll look at is a model from Queen's University in Ontario, Canada. Um, all undergraduates in the College of Arts and Sciences at Queen's University um, participate in a pathway planning process using these visually holistic uh, major maps. Uh, major maps certainly aren't a novel idea, um, but the Queen's University major maps have a set of features that make them more useful for students as they consider their long-term, even mid-term, professional ambitions. The four-year structure normalizes participation in a wide assortment of programming, offered at specific times, including an internship between a student's third and fourth year. The map alerts students to both curricular and co-curricular programming, ensuring that they are aware of both academic and parallel non-academic enrichment opportunities. The Queen's University's major maps was a collaborative effort between career services, faculty, and the academic units, as well as students uh, who participated in the development. Beyond identifying the right curricular and co-curricular programming to populate the template, faculty members articulated a set of goals gained through study in each major. Many of these skills, common to multiple programs, reduced faculty labor to the generation of a few discipline-specific skills. So there was value added in terms of um, efficiency and consistency. Undergraduates at Queen's University um, review multiple maps during advising meetings and are encouraged to use them as a model for completing a template map when selecting their major. The outcome results um, from the Queen's University model using holistic major maps uh, there were 65,000 views of these maps uh, in the first year of its adoption. 95% of those students who had participated um, and responded indicated that the maps helped them to understand the skills and careers that were directly associated, relevant, and connected to their major program. 89% um, agreed that the, help, the maps help them be more aware of experiential learning opportunities. This concludes showcasing specific career readiness initiatives. I do, however, want to refer you to um, an awesome resource, which is the NACE Career Readiness Initiative, available um, online. These other colleges, which are um, hyperlinked, um, if you should wish to get this PowerPoint presentation, all have adopted some form of integrated academic advising and career development. There are nuances, there are differences, there are similarities uh, between and among all of them. Um, it is a, um, a really a valuable resource, and I hope you take advantage. Um, certain that you will find something that will be of interest and potentially adaptable to your institution. So thanks for being with me. Um, if you do have questions or comments, if you'd like the list of references for this entire conference this podcast series, or a copy of um, the PowerPoint or any segment thereof, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be more than happy to provide it. Thanks again.